Hey, hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this Azure DevOps tutorial series, today let's discuss about what are different ways in which we can link work items. Okay, so this is the agenda I have for this video. So let's look at how do we link one work item to another existing work item and how do we link work items to a new work item how do we link work items to a pull request how do we link multiple work items how do we link work items to remote work items that is um, work items in other projects and cross organization uh, that is in different organizations and link work items to builds uh, and how do we remove work item links okay so we'll look at all these things one by one uh, one disclaimer is we again we still have more uh, I work item objects to be linked like github test plans and all but uh, it will be quite huge to cover in this video i will try to make uh, one separate one but these are the most widely used ones so 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 that's why i'm just making a video for this all right so now let's start looking into it one by one first one is how do we link one work item to another existing work item i think we have already seen this which is pretty much easy in order to demonstrate that let me go to the work items first let me pick any work item existing work item let me take this uh, gift card plus mask let me take this work item mm -hmm here all the links will be performed under this particular links tab okay so this is where we are gonna concentrate you can see we have one item already linked okay so if you have if you want to add a new link see i am clicking on this add link option here i'm gonna click on existing item okay so which means it's the bucket i'm trying to link and work item that is already existing okay the reason why we want to link work items in Azure DevOps is because to maintain traceability okay so you so that you have clear um, tracking of what each and individual is working on uh, what are different user stories or epics that are uh, existing um, um, and you will have a better hierarchical flow to understand all the um, work items that is present in say in, in your project okay that's the main reason why we actually link the work items okay let me as i said let me link to an existing item so this will open a pop-up um so this let's go to work items okay if you go to the work tab you can select any of the um uh, item that is actually relevant to you for example affected by affects child duplicate it's a duplicate of so and many more okay there are a lot of other steps usually if you want if there is a um a direct link okay you can usually use let's say related to related so if when i click on related you can see there are many work items that is coming up you can search for your particular um, related work item and link to it okay so let's say this is a gift card uh, user story right so i will link it to a gift card task okay so these two are related F as of now this might not make much meaning but in real time uh, in real time projects that will be very much meaningful where you will link work items of same type or different types to maintain traceability for example um, a task might be linked to a user story a user story might be linked to an epic um, uh, it may uh, an user story might be might be or might not be linked to a feature okay so there are different um, hierarchies in which you do uh, which you link okay let's so now see it is uh, related to this particular task okay in case if you want to add more work items existing let's say if we want to call this as a parent user story okay we can call it as parent and we can link it to a um, another gift card user story what uh, let's say okay let it be uh, let's okay i think we have already linked this okay for now i'm just linking this okay uh, add link okay so this is a parent of this particular user story all right so this is a very simple and basic way of how do you link 
uh, user story to an existing work item okay so now similarly if you want to create a new work item and link it okay so in the add link option you have a new item so in the new item you can see you have a so my the, the link type i have selected is parent okay if we want to keep it as child okay now uh, let me create a task for this let's let me call it as uh, gift voucher ui development okay assume this is a simple task and i am just creating it so i'm creating a new task and linking it here okay see the child uh, task whatever i created is now reflecting under the link tab okay so these are two basic and simplest way to link to the existing work item and new work item all right the next one what we have is link work items to pull request so for example okay so if you uh, when you are working in an end to end flow in an azure devops right so you might need to link it to the appropriate pull request that you might have committed in uh, git okay so let's see how we can do this in the same part if you go to an existing item you can see under link type there will be something called pull request under the code okay either i can link to pull request commit tag version item branch etc but for now i'm just sticking to pull request because this is the most widely used pull request you can see by default a repository is selected project online devops demo if, if you want to change the repository also that's fine but for now this is the repository i'm working on so i'm just leaving it as it is and one thing you have to remember is there is a pull request id you have to provide how do you find this pull request id if you go to this ado board i will go to repos and select pull requests in there are multiple pull request here and the one is there are few that i have created there are few that are active there are few that are completed okay for some reason if you want to link uh, this work item okay this pull request okay once i select this okay you can see there's a pull request id since this is a starter it's just a single pull request id in uh, i mean it is a single digit pull request id but in real time projects you will have a different and meaningful pull request id so i'm just giving the pull request id here so as soon as i do this you can see i have linked the pull request to this particular user story so if you want to navigate to this you can just click on this which will open the pull request link whatever we have just opened okay so this is how you can link a pull request id pull request to a work item all right moving on next we have link multiple work items okay so in order to demonstrate this let me go to my backlogs okay if i go to backlogs you can see there are um, let's pick up gift voucher payments okay so we have one and we have one more as well isn't it gift voucher plus mastercard and gift voucher was paypal so i am using a control button to select multiple items so i'm just selecting the control option in the keyboard to select multiple work items and then let me click on these three dots and there is an option called add link similarly you can add a link to a new work item or to an existing work item okay this is as simple as that and again related to give to us right so give to us your development add link okay this way you can easily um, link to multiple work items this will be very handy when you uh, you are a uh, no, uh, product owner or a scrum master where you wanna take control of all your user stories and traceability within azure devops when when a new epic or a new, when you when a new uh feature or any anything that is created here you, you can if you want to do a bulk link right you can use this option which will be very very handy moving on next is link work items to remote work items that is work items that is present in other projects or other cross organization okay for now i i i i, I don't 
um I, i have not enabled the cross organization stuffs but in case even if you have to do that it is in the similar way which i am going to implement okay let's go to work items again opening a work item there is an option called external link right hyperlink actually okay so once you select this hyperlink option what this will do is it will point to a different uh, i mean our item present in a different organization or a project okay let me take any different project let me go to my organization here so this is the organi- project i'm working on now i will let me go to my project azure devops demo this is a different project i have created in the past so if i go to this and select the work items let me pick something here let me pick payments page not visible something okay once i open that copy the link and paste the address here okay now you can easily add the type link here okay so this way you can actually refer a uh, refer or link the particular work item to a different work item that is present remotely or in a different project in a or in a different organization okay this is um, not very much widely used but i uh, many people struggle to find it okay uh, earlier there was few options like consumes from producers for and all um, but uh, this is a easiest way to actually link to your work items that are present in different project or different organization all right and moving on um link work items to builds okay this is quite a simple again so uh, now in certain cases you want to link work items to builds okay so when whenever a ci cd is configured um okay in an automated fashion uh, there might be uh, you know necessary for you to understand uh, you know uh, what build has executed that particular work item and um, you know you can see the results out of the ci cd to the work item which will actually enable you easily enable you to uh, you know look at the um, automated flow right from your pipeline execution and how it is linked how it is connected to test plans and test results and all okay so that is main reason why you want to connect to uh, link work item to builds okay so again uh, if i go here existing item there is an option called build under build you can see there are three options build found in build integrated in build okay for now i'm just selecting build you can e- find in the build number by using the find build icon here so in case if you know the build number you can directly put that build number here or you can do a search okay so this is my project uh, so let me click on find builds so there are more f- filter criteria as well for now i have very less builds so i'm just hitting on s- um find builds by selecting the project only but in real time um you might have n number of builds so you might need to give more uh, filter criteria like pipeline result etc okay so for now let me select this build id and confirm so this can this will link the build to my particular work item which will g- give enough traceability to identify which build has actually executed this work item all right so this is a another widely used work items and finally how do you remove the link work item so once you select that link um, uh, the existing link you can either edit the comment or delete the link so as simple as that once as soon as you delete it this vanished all right so i will save this okay as simple as that so yeah these are the very commonly used w- linking work item types okay so uh, that's why i made a video for this again as i said there are more work item objects which we can use to um, link to maintain traceability but as of now this is the most commonly used ones all right so yeah that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys in case if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you